IPPR says the corruption-related headlines have become familiar over the years. Executive Director Graham Hopwood emphasized that it's time to step up the country's anti-corruption game as this will challenge complacency and inaction at government level. Such cases include the fish rot case, the collapse of the SME bank, the core awards and, and the missing millions, the payments to UK-based lawyers over the reparations issue, um, the August 26th scandal, or I think actually probably a whole series of scandals that need to be opened up there. Corruption in the med government medical aid scheme, uh, just to mention a few. I think one worrying aspect that has emerged more clearly since the exposure of the fish rot case in 2019 is the existence of uh, a group of untouchables, uh, people who are considered too politically connected to be arrested or even investigated. And, and this situation of impunity uh, cannot be allowed to continue. And certainly that would be one of the concerns of, of, of this project. Hopwood says Integrity Namibia, funded by the U.S. Embassy, is a three-year project which will see the establishment of a national anti-corruption network operating across civil society, private sector, media, traditional authorities, faith-based organizations and other non-state actors. It will involve a national mobilization campaign alongside a series of research-based interventions including publications and other activities on key policy, legal issues and practical issues that will inform the mobilization work. The project will also include the establishment of an online whistleblower platform. The whistleblower platform will be able to receive reports of corruption and other wrongdoings in a confidential and secure manner. Francis Shahama, NBC News, Ventuk.